Ethan. I'm Ryan. I play all the instruments. All the other ones. I don't yeah. yeah. <laughs> You're currently on tour across Canada. How's it been so far? It's been good. It's some long drives. This is uh, show seven. So we kind of like, we're in the, we're in the groove now. We feel pretty good now, I think. Uh, we're happy to be in Montreal. It's our first time. First time playing the show. Yeah. Uh, what's been your favorite show so far? Oh, I really like Winnipeg. Yeah. Winnipeg was really fun. Um, not a lot of people were competing with a festival that happens like just north of Winnipeg, but everyone who came was really awesome. awesome. Yeah, the, Winnipeg was great. Toronto last night was, was a blast. The Prairies, like Calgary's always good. They're good to us. So we had some good shows. Yeah, good. Montreal's going to be better. Yeah, Montreal's, Montreal's the best. best. Well, we've got high expectations for Montreal, so... <laughs> Uh, you worked with Colin Stewart on your last album, Wine. How was that? What was that experience like? It was great. He's a good buddy. Um, we worked on the EP with him too. He's yeah, he's a really really good guy. And we had a good time. We were gonna work with him. We have a new record coming out too, hopefully uh, in the fall. We were gonna work with him again on that one, but uh, yeah, he's always he's always around. He's a good buddy. He's awesome. Yeah. He's he's a uh, he's very hands off. As a producer, he's very like he wants you to find your sound. He wants you to like you know, figure out your own journey. Which like for us, because we are we get pretty weird in the studio and stuff. It's it's he's the right guy to work with for sure. Awesome. Um, and how was moving from releasing an EP to an album like? Because that transition is like a really big thing. I think it was. I think we were just yeah we were stoked to do it. I mean. We didn't really want to release an EP to begin with, I don't think. We've always been kind of, we're kind of album people to begin with, so. Yeah. Yeah, we were stoked to just make something really cool. We listen to albums, very rarely listen to EPs. Like, we love albums, so that was like a long time coming, that record, and we were like, yeah. We put a, a lot of work into it, made it happen really fast, kind of yeah. in a way. And, uh, yeah, it wasn't so hard, I don't think. Yeah. It didn't seem so hard. And what's your favorite track of a line? Uh, the whole thing's good. Uh, I, yeah, I think. Uh, okay. I was gonna say, keep your hands up. It's the second last song, or the last song, uh, depending on how you how you how you take in that record. But yeah, that one for whatever reason, like it's very strange. That one for me. Yeah, the first, I think the first time I was really unsure about that one going into this, going into recording it, whether it was going to come out as well as I wanted it to come out, you know, and then, yeah, it was great, so yeah, I was really stoked. I think that one was more like, oh, sweet, okay, it's awesome. And was that album, like, easy to make, or? Uh, in a way, we, uh, we, were, we originally started as a three-piece when we uh, formed the band, and then we, we parted ways with the original member and stuff, so the whole, the record's kind of, uh, yeah, it was it was hard to make in some at, at some points. I think it's always hard to make something, and you always second guess yourself. And there's lots of lots of back and forth. I think we we had this this mentality at the time of like no looking back, you know, like no just like full steam ahead with that album. So that made it a lot easier because we were just like don't look back, like move forward with the song, like let the song kind of dictate where we're going, and don't worry too much about it. Whereas this new, the new one we're working on, it's like, we're not, we're kind of like looking back and we're really like taking yeah, our yeah. time with it. Yeah. Yeah. Which is great. Um, speaking of a new album, uh, should we be like, uh, should there be a, sing a single coming out soon? Yeah, uh, hopefully September, we're crossing our fingers, yep. but it kind of depends. We're, we wanted to get something out before the tour, but uh, we, it wasn't mixed in time. And, but yeah, hopefully September. Very soon. It's like, it's in my pocket right now. <laughs> you know, so... I, I would love to share it, but we'll see. Soon. Okay. Um, do you guys have any lost messages? we we'll find you on social medias. I'll insert it on the bottom of the screen. Uh, uh, Facebook.com slash Morning Show Music. Underscore Morning Show on Instagram and on Twitter. Uh, you can also check us out at our website at www.morningshowmusic.com. Yeah, that's that's good. Go to the website. Yeah, the website looks great. We made it ourselves. Yeah, sort of. <laughs> that's um, it. You can catch the morning show on the rest of their tour in cities, in cities like Ottawa, Toronto, Windsor, Hamilton, and back in Montreal with James Clayton and Nick Palladian on the 30th. See you there. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Bye.
Thank <laughs> you.